New York Presbyterian is a very high volume center. And because of that, it's allowed us to develop a structure that allows us to deal with any type of acuity level uh, that's presented to us. There are things that we do here that are not offered at other centers. In New York, we have nine transplant centers. How do you sort out where you go? Patients come here because they know they'll get the best care and have the best chance at getting a transplant and having it be successful. Someone should definitely choose New York Presbyterian for their transplant because of our expertise. We have the experience of taking care of the sickest of the sick and getting them through the transplant and back home and living a relatively normal life. We are on the cutting edge of new treatments, new operations, living donor liver transplants, using all the advanced devices that many of which were invented here and first tested in humans here. Our renal failure and dialysis programs are among the most advanced. We've entered an era in transplantation where we can really personalize our care to the individual based on their immunological profile. And that's a huge advancement and that's a huge advantage when patients come to see us. The main role of the transplant coordinator is to walk the patient through the entire process. The evening, the initial phone call, all the way through to after the transplant and before they go home in the hospital. We're the frontline clinicians. We round on the patients, we address their concerns, we help guide their treatment plan, enact those treatment plans, and we work with the bigger team. And we just make sure things happen for the patient, we take care of them. The whole patient has to be taken care of, and that's really our approach here. We look at the whole patient, and because of that, we've partnered with really excellent physicians in all different areas, and that's a real strength at New York Presbyterian Hospital, to bring that collective care to our patients. It's difficult to describe exactly how special a relationship can be with your patients after going through this. I've had people that I've walked past in the hallway that I didn't even recognize because they just look 10 years younger. They're just so grateful for everything that you've been able to do for them. And that, you know, there's no price tag on that. When we get them across that hump and they're able to walk out and they come back and visit us, they're walking back in and dressed in normal clothes and they're giving us hugs and smiles, that just, really, really, you know, gets us all charged up to keep doing what we're doing. From time to time, patients ask me, Doc, how can, how can we thank you? And I just say, you just got to live your life, and that makes me happy.